Hello and welcome to this Pivotal Cloud Foundry demo. Today we'll be looking at multi-cloud deployments and leveraging IS specific features regardless of the IS you're deployed on. The demo will be broken into two parts. The first being Pivotal Cloud Foundry deployed on Amazon Web Services in an app using Amazon RDS as its data store. The second being Pivotal Cloud Foundry deployed on Google Cloud with that app using Amazon RDS as its data store there as well. So here we can see the Ops Manager console. You'll notice we have the Amazon Web Services Service Broker installed. Here we can take a look at some of the settings needed to configure it. The resources configured. Now if I drop out to a console, I can take a look at the configurations. So we can do a CF Marketplace. We can see the services that are provided by the broker. And we can create an RDS service. Once we've kicked off that create, we can watch it in the console, and we can go to the AWS UI, and we can see a cloud formation create in progress is going, and we'll see it's going through its steps to create the RDS instance. If we look at the RDS management UI, we can see the database being created, and get some of the details on that. And after a couple minutes, our create should finish. And if we take a look in the UIs again, we'll see Create Complete, and we'll see a database that's available. So now we can check that database. Our next step is pushing an app that will use that database. So we're going to use the Spring Music Demo app. So we'll do a CF Push. And then once the push is complete, we'll see a state of running. And we can check Apps Manager and see the apps running. If we click on the URL for the app, we'll see Spring Music running, and we can check its data source and see that it's using an internal database. We need to bind our RDS instance to our application. We can do that in Apps Manager. We bind AWS RDS, then restart the instance. And now if we check that route and the application running again, we'll see that it's running against Amazon RDS. Now we can move on to part two, where we'll be running Cloud Foundry on GCP, but everything else will remain the same. Here we've got Cloud Foundry Operations Manager running on GCP. And as you can see, we've installed the AWS Service Broker just like we did in part one. And we configure it much like we did in part one. Now we can repeat the process we ran in part one check out what's available in the marketplace. And remember, these are available from Google Cloud Platform. We can create our RDS service on Amazon using the service broker running in Google. Now we wait for that creation to finish. And once that's succeeded, we can move on to the next step. Look in the AWS UI and see my database. It's publicly accessible, so I'll be able to get to it from Google Cloud. Now dropping back to the command line, I'll verify my service did succeed. And we'll go deploy the Spring Music app again. So we'll run our CF push. And once that's complete, we can bring up Apps Manager. Find our new Spring Music app. Visit the route. And if we check the info button, you can see it's running on an internal database. So once again, we'll need to bind. This time we'll do it from the command line. So we'll issue the bind service command, binding it to the Spring Music app. Now we've bound our RDS instance on AWS to our app running in GCP. We can now restage that app. and then bring up Apps Manager again once that's complete. Check the route again. See Spring Music running, and we check info, we'll see is now running on the Amazon RDS instance. 